In Class A, Marion and its loyal fans were back trying to avenge last year's loss to Jenison. And early on, things were looking good as Natalie Seaman goes up the line for one of her five kills. The game went into extra points before Jenison and Alexandra Police put the Mustangs away 29-27. After that, it was all Jenison, though, as they won the second game 25-21 and cruised to the three-set victory 25-19 in the third. It was the second consecutive Class A volleyball crown for Genesis. It was the most amazing feeling. We got it last year, and it felt great to win again. It's the best way to walk out of our senior year. Meanwhile, in Class B, Holland Christian had its sights set on its first ever volleyball title. But in the first set, 2005 champ Fruitport had different ideas as they spiked their way to a 25-23 win. But that seemed to be the wake-up call the Maroons needed, and it was sheer domination from that point forward. Paul and Christian won three straight sets, including a 25-9 route in the third, giving HC their long-awaited Class B championship. We came here last year, and it was a, it's a great opportunity to be able to come here back here again and play HC ball, and we won. So it's amazing; it hasn't even hit us yet. The Class C finals featured a pair of squads entering the match with single-digit losses, as favored Calumet brought a 53-3-1 record in while Schoolcraft came in sporting a 41-9-2 slate. It was tight throughout, yet when push came to shove, the Schoolcraft Eagles soared to victory three sets to love. 25-21, 25-21, and 25-17. It was the storybook finish to a magical run through the playoffs that these seniors will never forget. I can't believe it, it's a dream come true. We've always wanted this and this finally happened for us. I'm just so excited right now. I'm so excited for my team and my coach and everything. The community, this is awesome for us. Last but not least, Class D featured a virtual home court advantage for Battle Creek St. Phillips as the two-time defending champs took on Lutheran Westland. The Warriors hung tough, making a couple of timely blocks on the defensive end. But St. Phillips again was too much, coasting to a three set to nothing victory, giving Vicki Grote her third straight and fourth title in the last five years. This is our third one in a row, but it, it's never taken for granted. Um, the girls worked hard today. Uh, Westland is a, a great team, and I was very proud of the way my team came out. That feeling when last ball hits the floor, it's just. You know, you're on top of the world, the whole team, everybody in the crowd feels crazy and you just, there's no better feeling.